channel, welcome back to Football Manager 2020 where we're playing with Norwich and we're going for a second season. Um, I, was a, I don't know if we hit the like target, I can't even remember, but there's a lot of love for the series and we want to go and win the Carabao Cup. That's what we're going for, that's the minimum objective of this season. Um, we'll probably plough quite through it quite a lot, but this is the only page I could go on that doesn't give transfers away. And... Even though it says our original budget was 29.06 million and we've got 31 million left, which suggests we've sold players, I don't quite understand how that's happened because I've spent quite a lot of money. I've done it, quite a few deals over monthly instalments and stuff, so it didn't affect us all at once. But we're going to go into deadline day and it's going to be uh, interesting because we've got 31 million to spend and I kind of think we should go and splash that cash. People that I've made bid fors and not been able to sign. Zlatan Ibrahimovic rejected us. Eric Dyer rejected us and moved to Sevilla. Uh, Kieran Trippier rejected us and moved to West Ham. Um, there's a few others in there as well that were like big names that just weren't interested to move to us. But I am very happy with the transfers that we've done. So let's go and have a look at the people that we've sold first. And then we'll go through the people that we've bought in. So first up is a uh, Syrian Jones, Kieran Jones. I imagine it's Kieran and it's spelled in a different way. Um, yeah, I've never heard of him. You've might never heard of him. Newcastle gave us six and a half million for him. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. They obviously have seen some potential there that we don't. Our scouts don't really see. But uh, yeah, so he went for six and a half million. Then we had. Thomas Dixon Peters, which is an amazing name, who we sold for uh, to Watford for one and a half million, potentially rising to seven and a half million with add-ons. Obviously, we're not going to probably play this save long enough to see those add-ons, but again, another interesting one. Um, these are actually also accepted by Zlatko Zahovic, our director of football, who have bought in. Uh, and yeah, the, our scouts, once you've sold them, you obviously then get a scout report. And our scouts obviously don't think it's very good. Don't think it's very good. So happy with that. Another youngster, Tyrese Omoti, Omo, Omotio, uh, sold for 1.5 million, raising potentially to 5 million pounds. Again, scouts now that he's moved don't think he's going to be very good. But interesting that the clubs in Football Manager apparently like to buy young players off each other which is very interesting. And then Tom Tribal has left for Burnley so he's dropped back down to the championship to play for Burnley. Uh, six and a half million we got for him. I wasn't that fussed to sell him according to he played once for us last year and uh, yeah happy to move him on. He's not the best I think six five million was a deal well done. Uh, we also sold Dennis Sherbany. Sherbany. Uh, for 800k or something, 825k, we sold him for over to America, or technically Canada, but playing in the MLS for Vancouver Whitecaps. Uh, yeah, really not that fussed about that. I love media description, midfielder. Definitely not. He's definitely a striker. So well done, football manager, on that one. Uh, continuing the <laughs> the exodus of Germans, which I've just realised is happening. Uh, Marco Stiepermann has joined Fujian at Dusseldorf. And uh, we got 3.1 million for him. He made six appearances for us last year. Again, not really disappointed that he's left. Uh, again, I think we got pretty good money for him. And he's not really missed. So, yeah, another one out the door. Now, some may find this, like, an A, an interesting transfer, and B, that I've got an agenda against German players at the club. I don't. It's just that I've also sold Christoph Zimmermann, uh, who has left for 8.75 million. Which was part of the reason I then tried to bring in Eric Dyer because I assumed we were going to sign Eric Dyer until Sevilla came in at last notice. Now, he did play pretty well for us and he played a pretty decent number of games. So maybe we go and spunk quite a lot of money on a centre-back in the deadline day. Um, but who knows? We'll have to go and look at the squad in a minute when we go through the ins. But yeah, so Christoph Zimmerman has also left. And then just for good measure, we had one more youngster leaving, Archie Mayer. Um... Again, another youngster, 425k, potentially rising to 1.3. He left. We had some other people leave as well on like free transfers and other young players that left for minimal amounts of money. But they are the outs. Let's go and look at the ins. So first up, Jack Butland joins as our first choice goalkeeper. Bought in from Stoke as Ralph Farman uh, didn't renew his loan. We couldn't get a renewal on it. 
Bought in for £12.5 million, pounds, so I'm expecting him to be with us for, well, you know, he'll be at the club for a long time. We're not going to be here for that long, but he'll be. Decisions is a little bit poor, but everything else, he's a pretty decent goalkeeper. He's very similar to Ralph Farman, so I'm uh, looking forward to him coming in really tall at six foot five. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing what Jack Butlin can do for us. So he was our first major signing that was brought in. Next up, we brought in Harry Wilson on loan from Liverpool, valued at £28 million. Can play as the inverted winger or an inside forward on the right-hand side or a winger on the left because he's left-footed. But, uh, yeah, decent stats all around. Good set pieces, like 14s and 15s uh, across the board. So very happy to have him in as well and hoping that he will do well for us. Didn't really get a look in at Liverpool at all in his career there. So he's gone on loan to Derby, loan to Bournemouth, and uh, he's come on loan to us. So hopefully he'll be able to replicate that form he showed at Bournemouth. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do as well. And then it gets interesting. Another loan signing, Mason Greenwood, comes in. So we've now got Haaland, Greenwood and Puki as our striking options, which I think is pretty good. Um, he will be playing a bit of a backup role for us. Obviously, a few appearances, handful of appearances for Man United. But we bring him in on loan, no fee to do it. We're just paying his wages, which is fine. But uh, I think he's got good stats. I think he'll be a good person to play either alongside Haaland in a two or different options to come off the bench for a bit more pace. So, yeah. Uh, Mason Greenwood joins on loan and then probably I would argue our best signing of the summer so far uh, Ezequiel Palacios in midfield someone I really really like in Football Manager I've liked him for a very long time uh, really good stats one of the highest rated young players in the world 11 caps for Argentina at just 21 years old seven million pounds he bought him for an absolute steal he's worth 28 and a half million we're paying him a lot of money but, yeah, very happy with this. Good first touch, good passing, good technique, good vision, uh, good decisions, good off the ball. Everything you need in this playmaker role. I am really looking forward to him. He argues with officials, but that, I'm not too sure that's going to be a problem. He's a perfectionist, which is great. That's one of the best things you can have in Football Manager. And uh, he tries to kill a balls often, so I'm hoping he will be the person to release um, Erlinger Halland and allow us to... Get a few more goals for our big money signing up front. But yeah, let's uh, see how he gets on. The last money signing in. We've had a few signings made by the director of football of youngsters. But we brought in someone else from River Plate. We've brought in Gonzalo Montiel as a sort of a backup right back. He's sort of like a backup backup right back. He'll be flirting with... Not flirting with Sam Byron. That would be weird. He'll Well, won't be weird. Love is love. Whatever, whatever everyone is into. But uh, he will be sort of an uh, equal role to sort of Sam Byron. So Max Ahrens will be the starting right back or right wing back. If we, uh, if you can see the face cam now, I'm pulling a face. But I don't have face cam on at the moment. So yeah, Max Ahrens will be the starting right back or right wing back, depending on what formation we play. But yeah, this guy, great physicals, great mentals. He's got a bit of technical to work on. But uh, I think he's going to do wonderfully well. And there we go. So... It's been interesting. Uh, we've actually sold 29.5 million worth of player and bought in 28, which is why we've got a lot of a lot of money left to spend. And it's been uh, very good. The squad is looking pretty balanced. Tim Crew is still here, although he wanted to leave at one point, uh, but we, we didn't sell him. Uh, Gonzalo Villar has come up to the first team, someone that we bought in last season for 600k. And he's just going to be in and around the first team, see how he gets on. Uh, we've also got um, Adam Ida is now back from his loan spell at Lincoln where he scored goals for fun. And uh, yeah, he'll be our fourth choice striker because we're trying to sell uh, Josip Dermic. Hopefully he will move in the deadline day. Todd Cantwell is still here, unfortunately. I did try to sell him. No one boat. Uh, no one boat? No one bit. Boat is not the word that I was trying to say then. Uh, no one bit on that. But yeah, uh, oh, and we extended uh, Thilo Kehera's loan again, which is really good. So he's still with here, still with us from PSG. 31 appearances last season, hoping to get similar sort of uh, game out of him. At the moment, we're lining up like this. And again, I'm pointing as if the camera's still on. Um, yeah, it's, it's different. The three at the back seems to work quite well. Apart from the fact we don't have three really good centre-backs. Well, we do. We have Tim Closer, uh, Cahara and Godfrey. And the only problem is our backup is Grant Hanley, who isn't the best. I mean, he's not terrible, but he isn't the best. So I would be expecting us to look in for a centre-back in this uh, in this window. Although Damari Gray has been listed. I'm a big fan of Damari Gray in real life. I think he's going to be a very good player when he can settle down. It might not be at Leicester, but I think he will... At some point, settle down. Now, Matteo Musaccio is someone that I am really aware of. And I'm tempted to bring in. 
But I don't want to lose the English core that we've sort of... Well, we, to be honest, we had a German core, didn't we? But, uh, oh, Alexis Sanchez. <gasps> Do I take the risk? Do I take the risk? 14 million. I think we've got money to burn. We've got 31 million. I'm just going to see if he wants to move. I'm pretty sure he won't. I'm pretty sure he's not going to want to move. Um, oh, Phil, Phil Jones. I tried to sign Fred. The only reason I really tried to sign Fred is because of the uh, cultured left foot at the wheel. Cultured's at the wheel song. Because he would have fit nicely into that. I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. Let's just try. So, uh, that you accepted that last time. Yeah, that's way above what you want. But I just want to see if he's interested. Phil Jones. I am I am tempted. How much they were? 13 million. Let's just... Let's have a look. I mean, is it, he's going to be better than Grant Hanley. I know it's not... Oh, Rob Holding as well. He's probably going to be better than Phil Jones. 21 and a half million you want for him. Sod off, Arsenal. Not paying you that. Uh, Oscar. Is that... That's like, that is ex-Chelsea Oscar. 53 million well spent. Um, can we can we loan him? He's not interested in discussing a loan. Well, we've got a few bids in there. So Sanchez offer accepted. Not interested in discussing terms. Fred is interested in discussing terms. Uh, no other club is interested in him. And uh, Jones is also interested. So what's the cost? That's 21.5 million. I don't think that's what they wanted for him. Oh, it is. 21.5 million. That is the asking price. Okay. Let's uh, maybe buy Fred and Phil Jones then. Well, we can't afford that. We can... We'll knock this down. I'll give you 100, 100 grand, Fred. That's what, you're, that's what you're getting. Well, that's what we'll negotiate. Get rid of that. Sell on fee. Not off, nothing about that. 145. No, we'll give you 110. We'll give you five and a half, and we'll give you five percent of a sell on fee. He's happy. He is happy with that. We could be getting Fred. Well, this could be deadline day over in a flash, to be honest, because if we can get Fred and Phil Jones. So Zlatkovic recommends we say this, which is fine by me. A hundred and fifteen thousand pounds. We'll give you a hundred, Phil Jones. You are. You got to remember, Phil Jones. You are still Phil Jones. You. Have not agreed to a hundred grand a week, Phil Jones. You absolute nutter! What the hell is wrong with you? Now, if we go to Man United, can we buy Marcus Rojo instead? He is transfer listed, and it is a lot cheaper, and it is only four point seven four point seven million. So, I mean, do we? Yeah, let's let's just buy loads of Man United. Rojo's incredibly interested. He's incredibly interested to, to join us. A fringe player. That's fine. That means you're dreadful. It's literally as a backup so that we don't have to play Grant Hanley. 99 grand a week. So you're cheaper than Phil Jones already. We'll give you 85 and 250 grand. He's he's delighted. He's out. He'll do anything to get to get out of Man United. I think he's I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine to play Alongside, he might even be better than Ben Godfrey at centre back. No, he won't be. Although the other thing is, I wouldn't mind playing Ben Godfrey in the defensive midfield role when we need him to. So, well, I didn't, I didn't think we we're going to be buying um, two Man United rejects on deadline day. Oh my god, just, just go, just piss off, transfer, offer to clubs, loan, just, just go, just give us a hundred percent of his wages, and you can go wherever you want. Uh, Mitrovic was another one I was looking at uh, for a striker, but then we bought in Greenwood on loan, which I think is a much better deal uh, and a much better offer. Uh, Barrow has got clubs going for him. Central midfielder, not too bad. Uh, who's bidding? Chelsea and Man United, £57 million. Pounds. Wow. Um, Chelsea had the... Uh, oh, Danny Drinkwater. He could probably do a job for us at Norwich. They had a centre-back listed for transfer. And I tried to get Olivier Giroud as well, who now on deadline day may actually be interested to move to us, but I don't want a 34-year-old uh, player. Oh, Dermic. Yeah, okay. So, uh, right. you, Yeah, okay. Let's just um, accept all of them. I don't care. I just want you to piss off. Literally, get out the door. Um, we did make her offer, but he, he wasn't interested. How close were you to signing it? We were very close. I thought it was done on more than one occasion. There has been some weird transfers in the Premier League. If I go to um, 
competitions, Premier Division, transfers. Um, so, well, Charlie Daniels is an interesting one. He moved for 23k, but if we go by fee, uh, 96 million pound. Pogba to Paris Saint Germain. Bernadeschi from Juventus to Liverpool. Uh, Cancelo only lasted one season at Man City before being signed by Barcelona. Dele Alli moved from Tottenham to Man City. Uh, Morata, Chelsea, Madrid. That was on all. Dembele, Musa Dembele to Man United. Everton has signed for Liverpool, which is a nice, interesting one. Yanazai signed for Arsenal after rejecting Man United. Wilfred Zaha's moved to Inter Milan. Mario Lamina's moved to PSG. Uh, Calvert Lewin's moved from Everton to Newcastle. Johnny's moved from Wolves to Tottenham. Uh, there are some really funny Inter, Inter like Premier League transfers. Uh, just getting in down here somewhere. Douglas Luiz from Aston Villa to Bayern Munich. Um, where was it? So. Eric Lamella from Tottenham to Leicester. And we had... Oh, where was... Oh, West Ham have bought Daily Blind. There were some very interesting ones that was like... Ox Maybe it fell through. Maybe it fell through. Oxlade, Oxlade Chamberlain was... Uh, been... Yeah, so he's transfer listed. Tottenham made a bid for him and it obviously, didn't, it obviously fell through. So there were some very interesting bids that have been made. Sanchez did nearly become... D Sanchez and Dyer were so nearly Norwich players. Imagine that. That would get the fans salivating, wouldn't it? Um, we will appeal it for now. Fred has also will appeal that. Uh, perhaps it's not dead. It's not quiet. It is not quiet. Um, it's definitely not quiet. But with four hours to go, I think I need to go and find another centre back just in case. Fred. I mean, if Fred comes in, the cultured left foot at the wheel chant is going to work. It's going to work, and it's going to work a dream. Um, and it's going to be exciting. It's going to be. It's not going to be exciting. It's going to be absolutely terrible. But uh, yeah, I mean, do we go for Rob Holding? Jamal Lascelles would be an interesting one as well. Um, they're beginning. It's going to be hard to prize away on deadline day, though. That's the only thing. Bednarak from Southampton is an absolute. Oh, he's not a giant, six foot two. Well, that is that is taller than me. But uh, yeah, he's not quite a giant. Um, Willie Bolly from Wolves actually really good in real life, having a great season. Willie Bolly. Concentration's a bit low though. What is what's what's the problem with Rob Holding? His stats are pretty average in some some areas, but as a centre back, I think he'll be fine. I think it's just a bog standard centre back. Good heading, good marking, good tackling, good positioning. Concentration's okay. Bravery's pretty good. I'm I'm he's gonna be. He's gonna be. I'm gonna make a bid. I'm gonna make a bid. They want twenty one and a half million. Um, I'm going to go for like 5 million up front and then we'll go installments over 3 installments we'll give you um, they wanted 21 and a half so we'll give you 16 and a half over that that gets you to your 21 and a half you want 7 all right uh, we can we can play ball here arsenal we can play ball we'll go 16 and 16 so we'll give you 22 no you're not interested in that see that adds up to 22 as well let's go 6.5 and 15.25. 7 million and 14 and a half. And you got yourself a deal. You got yourself a deal, Arsenal. You got yourself a deal. Let's go and see. Who are we up against for Rob Holding? Uh, definitely going to move to AC Milan, then, isn't he? He's considerable interest in moving us. Maybe he does want to stay in England, though. Yeah, regular starter. Why not? Doesn't matter. Uh, Latko Zahovic says 43 and a half. He's definitely going to want more than that, Zlatko. Your uh, top division rate, okay, suggest... Oh, you don't want too much more than what I offered. Uh, 500k, relegation release clause, yeah. Done, done, done. Now, if we can get all three of these players in, that gives us a lot of options at centre-back. And it... Fred granted work permit. Holding set to sign. Rojo granted work permit. Right, okay. Accept... Let's just bring him in. Reinforcements on deadline day. I did not expect this. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure we'll say that's our deadline day done. I think, unless. I mean, why have I bought Fred? I've literally bought Fred for a song, which I'm gonna sing once in the next episode, I reckon. And that's even if I remember to do it. What have I planned? I bet I can't even register all of these guys either. We've got one space left. Um. So Rojo's in. Um, right, who don't I want to play this year then? Because I need to register Fred. I mean, I'm thinking I'll take Villar out and we'll send him out on loan, I think. Um, because now Fred's in, he's not going to get any game time. So just give us 100% of his wages and you can go 
any way you like. That's fine. Uh, Dermage is going. Hernandez might not get too much game time. Colton Morris, who are you? Unless I need you in there for homegrownness, which I don't think I do, because I think I've got enough. You're coming out. And... Uh, Rob Holding is going in. So is Rob... Hang on, who have we signed? Rob Holding, Fred, and Marcus Rojo. Where's Marcus Rojo? Where is where is Marcus Rojo? He's there. He's in the squad, but he's not... Squad registration. Oh, in. I've already put him in. What am I playing at? So, Rob Holding in, Marcus Rojo in, Fred in, Villar out. Oh, yeah, that's why I couldn't see him, because I didn't need to get rid of someone else, did I? Villar, and then that other striker that I'm never going to play out. So, we have a 25-man squad. We have the homegrown things covered. And we've... <laughs> I can't believe we've signed three more players on deadline day. For, I think 4.7 million for Rojo could be... I think that could be good business. He's 30 years old, but I think that could be very good business. 21.5 million for Fred, not so much according that I bought him only for a charm, but he does have some a, a good ability. And uh, 21.5 million for Rob Holding, how, how, we, how we did it, like with the 14.5 million over three years. Again, if you're playing a long-term save, I think that's a good investment. I think that is a good investment, and I think you could easily get more, more, more money back than that. So... I mean, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Is it is it what you would have done? Probably not. Nottingham Forest want Villar. Yes, that's fine. You can have him. And uh, Zaragoza, where he'll probably move to. And uh, oh, well, he could move, could move to either of them. Uh, Valladolid as well. Um, Chelsea and Villar not really in the squad. Are you looking to move them on? Uh, we're looking to pencil this. Hopefully there'll be something to announce soon. Uh, and there we go. So Villar is moving on to Nottingham Forest. And hopefully... You've rejected that. Good. Um, Tim Krul could be leaving. Uh, I wouldn't believe everything you read. He, we need it. We need him at the club. Uh, Dermich, there is bids for him, so he should be moving as well. But it's obviously not deadline day in the in the other countries in Europe. Um, who's to say he won't be registered? We'd like to sell Yosip, but you know, there's no real offers there. Fifteen minutes, and that's going to be it. And it is done. So we have the fifteenth highest wage. We're joint with Newcastle in terms of wages in the Premier League. Uh, we were, we must have been a fa major fail transfers was Phil Jones and Alexis Sanchez. Biggest spenders, Man United. Most active was Bournemouth. I thought it might be us. Uh, Bernadeschi, James Rodriguez and Paul Pogba are the biggest deals. And uh, we're holding on to Tim Krul. And uh, yeah, question, you must be getting your breath back after that hectic deadline day. Uh, I think it was a relief, the emotion I felt, really. Happy to get it all over the line. And we're going to go and face Southampton straight away. Uh, yeah, Dermich is the only person not registered, which is fine. And we set a record high spending of £55 million, which leaves us with a budget of £7 million. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of, lot of transfer debt. £28 million worth of transfer debt we've got at the club. Absolutely incredible. Um, Amadou's excited. I mean... He's moved, hasn't he? He's he's moved. They bought it for six and a half million. Fuck off! It was my loan agreement it was like eighteen million pounds, which is why I didn't buy him. Oh, piss. Um. Anyway, we're not gonna reveal these. I don't think any of the new guys are gonna go straight in. I mean, look at Regan Lincoln is loving it. Keep spending. Keep the money going. Uh, we'll send the assistant to to the press conference. Training injury blow for Fred. Oh man. Fred, I mean, seriously, what tight calf one to two days. What a penis. What an absolute player. Right, Jack Butland is going to be our starting goalkeeper. Uh, he actually, we need to change that because he just wants to be a goalkeeper. Then we're going to have, right, where we're going to have Kea as a ball playing defender. But he, in, in pre-season, he was putting some good balls straight into Haaland from the left-hand side, like that, straight up there, which was good. I like that. Max Ahrens is going to start on the right uh, as a right wing back, and Jamal Lewis will be starting as the left wing back. That's obvious. Um, I'm tempted to start Rob Holden, you know, at, at ball-playing defender on the right, and then we'll put Tim Closer in the middle. Uh, what do you want to be? A central defender on defend, not on cover. 
Okay, we'll try and just put everyone in their favourite. I um. Do I want to do that? I don't want cover because we're not playing with a sweeper keeper anymore. Well, we'll leave it like that. We'll try and get people into their most preferred uh, positions. I think the wing backs are just going to stay as they are. And then the box to boxer. In fact, let's put Ben. Um, oh, I'm not sure now. No, let's put Tim Closer in there. We'll put Ben Godfrey in the box to box role, I think, because he can play there. Uh, or do we want Leitner? No, we want Leitner, I think. Leitner's a good corner taker. Or Vrancic. I've got too many players now. We'll put Leitner in there. Then we've got, uh, obviously, Palacios is going to be our playmaker. And then the advanced playmaker. I think we're going to start with Buendia in there. Didn't do too bad. And then we're going to go with Greenwood as a false nine to do a lot of running. And Herland, uh, Herland? Halland as the uh, complete forward. In the bench we'll have Krull. We'll have Rojo. We'll have Godfrey, who's unlucky to miss out, to be honest. Uh, we'll go Sam Byron, because Rojo can cover at left back as well. Vrancic. Uh, Harry Wilson. We'll go Pozzo and Puki, but that's one too many. So who do I want to drop? That's a lot of defenders, isn't it? Does Rojo miss out on his first game, or does Sam Byron miss out? Because, and we pray that. I mean, Lightner's not match fit. A lot of our players aren't match fit, which is a concern because we had a we had a decent uh, thing here, Bob, free season. Mm, I want to put. I feel like Puki shouldn't miss out. Let's put him on there instead of Pozzo. Pozzo can miss out for one for the first game. There'll be a lot of rotation this season. We're going to be losing a lot of things. And what it does give us is it gives us a lot of strength with whilst rotating in the Carabao Cup as well. So it'll be very interesting to see how we get on. But we're going to go straight into this game against uh, against Southampton. As uh, yeah, you can see deals deals still happening around Europe as well. So it'll be interesting to see if there's any Premier League clubs selling their players. Um, Mitrovic, we can we can remove you from the shortlist now. Don't show me that again. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. But yeah, I'm amazed. The thing that amazed me most about this, um, because this is obviously my first transfer window since the full game full game was released, uh, coming out of beta mode, and I'm very amazed by how much Premier League teams are looking to invest in youth by play, throwing money around at them. So Rojo can take uh, the number... Oh, I'll tell you what, Rojo's, Rojo's a nutter, isn't he? So he can have the number 99, and Rob Holding can have a bit more of a sensible 24. So... 99 that's gonna oh that's gonna piss some people off in the comments i can feel it already um if you are new please do subscribe and leave a like and all that jazz and uh there'll be lots more of this the folks in the victor save will be starting after this second season finishes unless you guys still want to carry on doing the norwich save and then we can i mean i always finish my long-term save which is the folks in the victor save this time um will be it, it'll always finish generally they always finish before the next game is released so i don't mind doing a save like this a little bit longer come on lads show me what you can do and um, there's a lot more to come there's a lot more to come obviously a new formation for the new season three at the back um, we'll have to see what happens it is still playing like the the tiki taka formation um can we expect him uh, he's been a little short of match sharpness timo puki injury probably might have risked him but no need to here and uh, let's get into the game at home against norwich yeah new formation three at the back it's still the ticky tacker sort of formation which worked for us towards the end of the season. It was just more mixing it up to sort of suit who we had. Obviously, we lost a few wingers, didn't bring any more wingers in, so I thought we'd give it a go. And it's a bit of a stalemate at the beginning. We have had a few more chances, but let's see what we can do. They've got someone nervous at the back, but James Ward Prowse swings in the corner. It's headed away by Haaland. It's going to fall down here to Romeo. Stay on your feet, Jamal. Stay on your feet. Don't dive in. It's hit taking deflection on Butland. Uh, just picks it up nicely and are we going to build from the back now we should roll it to the center backs or full backs as part of the tactics i mean jack butland couldn't have made that anymore obviously literally turned 90 degrees before rolling it jamal lewis finds himself in some space ball over towards halland who is uh, in the pre-season very much enjoyed playing in the uh, complete forward role palacios into buendia back to palacios and now there is a bit of space for jamal lewis if we can find him on the left hand side palacios is surely going to try and pick a pass in a minute that's a good ball out to max aarons though he's into the box lets it back leitner leitner dinks it in looking for halland it's poor but lewis will keep it in jamal lewis has got time to pick a cross he does in towards halland with a header just over the bar and erlinger halland gets our first real opportunity of the second season and uh, i'm hoping i'm hoping that this all goes 
well this season. The main game, the main aim is to still try and win the Carabao Cup. When Diaz picked up a knock, that's annoying. I think Harry Wilson might have to come into attacking midfield. To be honest, um, not his favoured position, but uh, let's let's go and have a look. But twelve shots and seven on target to their four and one. We are dominating the game. So I'm just going to say calmly, um, I'm pleased with how it's going, and then we're going to. We'll go, we'll go passionate again and say, you know, there's a bit more to come. Rob Holding uh, and Palacios seem to lose focus. Okay. I don't know why you'd lose focus. Buendia, um, we probably should. Is, actually, is that a red injury now? Is it maybe it red at half, uh, half time? No, it hasn't. But I'm wondering if we do that for Wilson in there. Yeah, it's not his favourite. But I think we have to make the change. I don't think you can really leave someone on who's at 66% even at the half, after the half-time break. So, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. But uh, Haaland has been booked and he's off tackles. No, he's a striker. He can. He's, he won't get booked that much. Greenwood, great ball. Swing out left to uh, Jamal Lewis. That was a mumble of words I had there. Wilson, back to Lewis. Back to Palacios. Back to Lewis. You can see us really trying to work this into the box. Leitner is going to ping one from range. Curls it just past the post. So unlucky there. But yeah, we're really trying hard to work it into the box. And it's all us, and that worries me, because it like football manager normally just sends Southampton up the other end to score. Pal Everything seems to be going through Palacios, which I love at the moment. Uh, Jamal Lewis squares it into Leitner. Leitner out to Max Ahrens. Max Ahrens, can he just beat his man and dink this in towards the back post? He has got around his man. Is the ref going to give a penalty? Michael Atkins said he's going to VAR. It's a penalty. It is a penalty. Haaland missed two penalties in pre-season. He missed two penalties in pre-season, so he hasn't broken his penalty duck. He's never trust the lefty. He's missed again. He's missed again. Oh, my word. He's got such good stats for penalty taking as well. Lightning with the corner, and it goes. Greenwood! Oh, Angus Gunn with the save. Oh, I thought that was the moment. I mean, look at, look at Halland here. Penalty taking 15. Composure 14. He should be putting penalties away. He really should be putting penalties away. And that has completely now killed his rating. So uh, he's got the ignominy of missing a penalty. And he's going to have the ignominy of being subbed off in the first home game of the season. Or the first game of the season, not just the first home game. Let's keep them going. Come on, Angus Gunn. Boot this long and hopefully we'll win it. But they've brought on Ponkayu for Ward-Prowse. Up you get Jamal Lewis. And here is Ponkayu. Uh, straight into the game, straight around jo Jamal Lewis, straight away, running in on goal, hits the terrible shot into the side netting. And uh, we're in dropping down to 7th, which actually isn't too bad at the moment. Uh, I'm trying to think who we've got to bring on to change the game. Marcus Rojo, he, he, he's a game changer, isn't he? Uh, Marcus Rojo, let's give him his debut with two minutes to go. Uh, Marcus Rojo on for closer in the middle, in there, and... Let's watch him give away a penalty and get a red card. As that's one in the air. It falls to Danny Ings for Southampton. Turns his man really well. Starting to run at the defence. That is a ball through. And it's a good save from Butland in goal. An embarrassing miss, it said in the commentary. But it was a good save from Butland, I would say. I'd argue. I still haven't done any sort of set pieces. I might look into them now they're doing this for a second year. Look at the size of that football. Oh, it's not. It's my mouse. <laughs> what an idiot. Uh, four minutes of injury time. Ponky to swing in the corner. It's headed down and it's bouncing around, but nothing really uh, comes of that. And that's going to be it. Nil-nil to start the season. Not the best, but uh, we did batter them. So I am going to say unlucky, boys. It just wasn't our day. And uh, we'll go from there. But that will be the end of the first episode. We'll, we'll, well the first episode, the first game of the, uh, of the new season. And uh, we'll go. So Madison will just keep on paying us money because of that. Uh, he's put very good performances as a central defender in recent training sessions. He's literally signed and played a game. And that's it. I don't think he's even had time to train. But, yeah, let me know what you think of the signings down below. Um, uh, love it. I'm loving this save again. Loving Football Manager 2020. Uh, it looks really good. Stoke with a grid 3-2-1 over Cardiff. Um, I didn't even realise Stoke got promoted. We've signed their goalkeeper. Who have they got in goal now? Vasilis Barkas. 26-year-old Greek. Fair enough. Um, but, yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll be back for... Uh, we'll probably skip the Carabao Cup second round. Um, hopefully, Oh, Chelsea-Liverpool. That's a fruity little couple of features, isn't it? But we'll probably come back before that. Maybe Stoke and Newcastle. Play a recently promoted team and a, a bit more of a consistent Premier League team at the moment. But yeah, um, straight away, they've given us Leicester back-to-back -back around Christmas. That would never happen in real life. Unbelievable. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.